I'm using the pen tool to select geometries, shapes, and colors. And it's like using the magic lasso and holding down the Alt key. And what that does is you notice that the um, you don't have to close the shape. If you right click on what you're up to with the pen tool and say make selection, well, I didn't want to right click, stop what I'm doing, and hit make selection. So I made a a action which I have keyed to the F1 key, and all I have to do now is trace out the geometry, and then hit F1, and it both turns it into a selection and then does a fill for me. So that's a very quick way to uh, get geometry fills. And you can see during this video I do this several times and got kind of uh, carried away with demonstrating it as usual. Uh, the only other thing that this video also includes is that I, I was just checking for myself whether or not when you rotate the canvas in Photoshop since you can nullify the uh, canvas orientation just by it goes back to zero zero uh, when you uh, go back up at the top when you're still in rotate mode and you say uh, I forget what it says it says uh, reset and it uh, so I wanted to see if it had the brains to go ahead and hold down shift and, and draw that line straight and it does it's uh it's pretty cool so you could rotate that in any way hold shift key down and any brush you stroked out would stroke a, um, either straight up vertical or horizon with the new orientation of the of uh, the rotation so that's about it uh, it's really easy to do the f key um, set up it's part of the when you create a new action and uh, the action first uh, you start the path and then you start then you create the action because what you'll do next is right click on that path and say create selection and that's recorded as part of the action and then you will and you don't have to have a, a fill action like I have already just go up to fill and hit fill and you've got something that lets you create these big geometry shapes real quick and easy.